What is going on guys, it's Wafa here, and welcome back to some more Minecraft Dungeons. Now last time we left off, we went back to the Creeper Wood to find some secrets, and we did end up finding some secrets. We ended up finding this new level, this secret level. The Oh, there's like some creepy laughing going on in the background. This creepy crypt level over here. Uh, I don't know if we've read the story just yet, but... The Forsaken Undercroft. A sprawling crypt lies deep below the forest floor, where the illagers believe they can continue their wicked work undisturbed. Will you stop them, or will you get lost in the dark? Ooh. Yeah, I definitely do want to do this mission over here, you guys. This is like a secret area over here, so... Speaking of secrets, we missed out on two secrets, apparently, in the Creeper Woods. I definitely want to see if we can actually find those two secrets in the Creepy Crypt, or if it's going to have its own secrets. So I guess we'll find that out a little bit later. Uh, it seems like it has the same stuff over here. Same artifacts, the same gear... Uh, no, actually, we do have the Death Cap Mushroom that we did. Oh, yeah, we unlocked that one. Definitely do want to use it to kind of buff us before a big old battle, like a boss battle or something like that. So, anyways, without any further, uh, should I, should I jump into it just yet? Or should I buy something from the Blacksmith? Because I've got a lot of money. I've got 1,300 heckin' emeralds. I was thinking, like, damn, man, that's a little bit early to jump into there. But, yeah, let's, let's buy something from him real quick. See if we... Oh, man, a Power 26 Cutlass. Ooh! We had that earlier, but it was nowhere near... Oh, yeah, it's... it's it's less power level than the axe over here. Has less, like, base melee damage. 51 of the axe, 37 of the cutlass. God, man. The enchantments over here, I'm locked to just uh, Poison Cloud for the first one. We've got Thundering, Smiting, so extra damage against the undead. And find more emeralds on fallen enemies, so... Ah, man, once again, not the best one. I think I'm going to salvage it. Man, just lost some emeralds right there. Whatever. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, back to the artifact. We did unlock the Death Cap Mushroom in the last level, so of course we could take this before a big boss battle, like I said earlier. 9.4 second uh, duration, so almost 10 seconds. And then 30 second cooldown. I don't know if that's, like, after the 10 seconds of uh, duration, or after I activate it or whatever. So I guess we'll find that out a little bit later. Eaten by daring warriors before a battle, the Death Cap Mushroom drives fighters into a frenzy, so that's going to greatly increase our attack and movement speed for 10 seconds-ish. So that's going to be really cool. Anyways, uh, I guess we can put that down here where the fishing pole is, and of course we still have the dog uh, right there, so we could summon him in. Uh, should I do that one, or...? Yeah, I guess we could keep the dog at least for right now. He seems pretty cool. Or maybe I should put the mushroom here and then the the soul explosion here. What was it called again? The harvester. When used, the harvester releases souls in an explosion. 4 to 94 artifact damage, and of course requires souls. I guess we'll use this for right now, so... Anyways, let's start the creepy... Uh, cre yeah, Creepy Crypt Mission. We currently have 20 power. This is the recommended power level of 16. Next one is recommended power level of 22. I think we're going to do this one, Default 5. I don't think we're going to do Default 6. Like, it's kind of crazy. 1.8 times difficulty. 1.4 times difficulty. Uh, we're already below the recommended power level for this one. So I, I, I think it makes sense for us to do uh, Default level 5. It'll still be harder than what we... I'm like, this will be easier, but... I think this makes more sense. So <laughs> let's just jump into this one, Default 5. Creepy Crypt. Let's start the mission. Traveling to the Creepy Crypt. Oh! There's like no, uh... Oh, whoops. I guess there's no, like, cutscene or anything like that, but... This is taking us... Where? Isn't this... Yeah, there's like a fence here. Yeah, this is the secret area that we unlocked, wasn't it? I think it was, yeah. Didn't we go into this place? I don't know, maybe? Yeah, we were in here. Uh, hold on. I don't know if- oh gosh. Are we just going to be redoing the same thing? I don't know. Hey, we killed that creeper thanks to the fire aspect right there, so that's good. I don't know, you guys. I guess we could adventure around here so we can find anything. Hold on, if we look at this map, secrets found one out of five, so yeah, the- Oh, oh, creeper, man! <laughs> yeah, my one out of five, chest open zero out of thirteen. I guess it's a completely new area, maybe. I, I thought we did it. It looks familiar. And the outside certainly look familiar as well, but I suppose we'll try and find some secrets over here, you guys. Uh, is this actually, like, the same map, or is it... It feels bigger? I don't know if it actually is bigger. It might be a bigger version or something. I don't know. I just can't really remember. Oh, oh, a lot of creepers over here. Kill them with fire aspect. Nice. Oh, get away. Nice, didn't take any damage from those creepers that time. We've got an apple right there. Let's take care of that creeper. There you go. We can take him down, no problemo. Now, I do want to make sure I could find these secrets. Oh, oh, creeper ran into there. Jeez, I had nowhere to go, and it killed that heckin' skeleton. Two skeletons, too. Nice. 
I'm trying to like keep my eyes peeled for potential secrets because I did get some comments from you guys saying, yeah, secrets can be more than just going to an area and then it spawns in a chest. Oh, are we like above? Is that like where we were previously? Are we like above the area now? Ooh, that might be what's going on here, you guys. Armored skeleton, regular zombies right there. Took care of them, no problem. Nice. That might be what's going on here, you guys. That probably explains it, but yeah. If I want to keep my eyes peeled for more secrets, because apparently it's not just those chests that spawn in, so... If I want to keep my eyes peeled and maybe find some other, like, weird, like, out-of-place things that might unlock... Oh, got that heckin'... Oh, man, whoa. Why my fire trail only last, like, a small bit right there? Let's go. Oh, that was two creepers? There are two creepers, like, stacked on top of each other right there. I didn't even notice. <laughs> Jeez. Well, we do have these mission things right here saying, hey, go this way, go that way. So I'm just going to not follow the directions. I'm going to go a different direction because, of course, I want to explore the entire thing here. And yeah, this is huge. There's no way we actually explored this whole thing. Arrow bundle right there. Yeah, we had like 500 arrows at the end of last episode. Like before we exited the map, I guess your arrows get reset whenever you, uh, oh, oh. nice. We actually got them there with the uh, fire aspect again. Yeah, I guess your arrows reset whenever you go back to the campsite or something like that. So that sucks. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll go this way. And then there's like a whole area to the right. I don't know how to get over there. Golly. Huh. So we'll find out here a little bit later, perhaps. And here's a jump. Didn't we? This looks familiar. As if we did this, but like from a different angle or something like that. I don't know. Huh. I'm going to go to every one of these little crypt rooms, though. Just to see if there's anything that I can unlock. And, and find some secrets, you guys. And I did get some comments in, yeah. Just look at that. Oh, man, that's a lot of creppers. Get the oh, nice. The yeah, I forgot about the bonus shot, you guys. But there you go. Took them out with the... Uh, the I think we have the longbow right now, so that's good. And we got this green candle here, which I don't know if that symbolizes anything. The swiftness potion right now, which is good. Dead end there, so we took care of that. Nothing over here. Okay, I think we've covered all this area, so... I think we covered all that area. I think we covered all this. Yeah, I think we cleaned out this whole area here, you guys. Uh, I guess, yeah, we do have to go to that big area to actually go to all this. So, yeah, let's let's continue on this way where it's telling us to go. Thankfully, it's, it's telling us where to go because I can get lost here easily. Now we got a big room here, it looks like. Yep. Yeah, this is definitely not somewhere we've been. Oh, that's a lot of creperoos. That one exploded, so that's good. Took him out of the equation. Crepper over there. Oh, man, there are walls and stuff in the way. Ah, oh, he still got exploded, but didn't take any damage from him, which is good. I don't know if there's anything over here that we could... Oh, there's two creepers. Two creepers. Oh! Oh, I'm going to shoot him. I'm going to do full pullback. There you go. Got him. Nice. I'll take care of these skeletons with melee. This room looked a little bit bigger on the minimap, but I guess it's not really anything. I don't know if I could do anything with this weird dirt wall that's right there, you know? Guess I'll take care of these skeleton fellas. Get some arrows from them, which is good. Oh, there's a chest up there. Yep. See, look at that. It's appearing on the minimap saying, hey, there's a chest there, so that's good. And I don't know if there are any secrets here that I am missing. Surely I am. What was it, like six secrets or something like that? Apparently. Oh, we got strength. Nice. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Guns blazing into everywhere. Or axes blaze? I don't know if that's like even a thing. Hey, I got a level up. Nice. We got two creepers right there, though, so I'm going to run away. A third creeper there. Take him out with the full pullback. Oh, I thought I'd get that creeper with the bonus shot, but I guess not. There you go. Take care of them, but I'm stuck right now, unfortunately. Thankfully, we took care of all the creepers, so don't need to worry too much about that. And of course, remember, every time we actually, uh... Oh, we still have strength right there? Yeah, we do for like two more seconds. Nice. And another chest right here. Uh, it's just emeralds right there. Not too bad. Yeah, there's like... Oh, and there's a loot chest right there. I don't know if that's... Is that a secret or what? Let's look at this. Oh, whoops. Yeah, I guess that just counts as a regular chest, perhaps? There's a secret chest. Another hunter's armor, which does, uh... I think it buffs, like... Using your bow or something like that, if I remember correctly. I think we, uh, salvaged one last episode. But either way, let's look at the big map now. Yep, here we go. Oh, I can't, like, scroll around. I really wish I could, though. Uh, but yeah. Explored all that. I guess, yeah, I don't know. Maybe all the secrets are going to be over there, because there's four that we haven't discovered. Two chests discovered, of course. Or, uh, chests open. Still going to be a third right there. So we're going to have ten more chests to open. Apparently all over here. So this is going to be kind of crazy, you guys. I can only imagine... Oh, what do we have right... Oh, the strength right now. Okay. I was wondering what that effect was right there. There you go. Take care of these guys. And I should be able to clean all this stuff out. And then, and then we'll go back to that one chest that we discovered but didn't open just yet. Because so we'll clean out this whole area over here, this whole room. And then, of course, we'll go through this passageway and try and find... Oh, God. There's a creeper right there. I, I guess I'll try and take care of him real quick. Full pullback. Nice. I can take care of him. I kill him? I don't think so. I guess that was a second creeper. That's... Uh, shadow... Uh... 
whatever right there. Oh, I was stuck right there from the spine right. I didn't know why I wasn't moving right there. <laughs> hey, I need to pay more attention to my actual character. Anyways, let's go this way. Oh, what's up here? Oh, yeah, this is where we were that we need to go to to unlock the chest. Try to get this zombie. There you go, melee him down. Bunch of zombies over here. Yeah, we can take care of them. They're just regular zombies. Same thing with the spiders. Take care of them, no problem. And I'm not even getting wet. Oh! I like how you can walk into the webs that are already placed down. It doesn't even matter. So that's good. There you go. Clean out this room. And now we can open up the chest in peace, I believe. So let's see what's inside of this chest. More emeralds. Yeah, we have so many emeralds, you guys. Like, <laughs> I need to spend them somehow. I don't know if you could actually... Get, I guess we'll just continually buy more and more boxes from the... the. I don't even know what that guy's name is. I guess it's just the regular villager that we rescued or something like that. But it's getting more and more expensive every time we buy something from him. So I guess that's one way we're going to get rid of all of our emeralds. We've got over a thousand. We got 1351 right now, which is kind of crazy. <laughs> I don't know if I want to take that shadow thing just yet. Oh! Whoa! I need to watch out for some of these blocks that are going to fall here, you guys. Let's take care of that creeper. There you go. And we got a soul, too. Let's see, which ones are the... F I guess these ones right here that are cracked. Those are the fake ones, huh? Yep. Yeah, so I guess I'll grab the shadow potion. And I'll just... There we go. Go over all that. And then I'll do maximum damage to something around here. There's a spider. I guess I'll do it on that one. There's, like, nothing else around here. Except for up there, of course. We can do some bonus shots of them. There you go. Take care of everything over there. And that's... I don't know how that spider missed right there. It looked like he got me. I guess not. Oh! Oh! Get away from the creepers. A strength potion right there. I'll save that. It looks like there's going to be a lot of creepers and, uh... Well, I didn't mean to say creepers, but creatures up there for us to fight. So let's definitely save that for when we actually go up there, but... Yeah, there's a lot of heckin' stuff around. And there's even a big room back here. And, of course, that chest. I do know about that chest. Just try and clear out all the enemies around here before we loot it. That way it's nice and safe for us to loot. There's just... Re I like how there's just regular skeletons here. Like, it's not even really... The, of course, there's a few armored skeletons, a few armored zombies here and there. I wonder if we could actually find an armored spider. I haven't seen an armored spider. Or even, like, a spider jockey. I feel like we've seen a... I don't know if we've seen a spider jockey yet. Maybe. I don't... I can't remember, though, but... Nothing over here, surprisingly. You'd think they'd put something over here, but it's just a bunch of mobs. Huh. Maybe there's secrets over here in these, like, these areas where I think there's going to be something, but apparently there's nothing. I don't know if we could, like, interact with this thing and shoot an arrow at it randomly, and it, like, opens up, like, a secret chest or something. Crazy, <laughs> I don't know. Definitely need to be more mindful of this stuff. Let's go over here. Let's go up to this chest that's obviously on the minimap. And I guess just get a bunch of emerald. Eh, it's an arrow, or a arrow bundle. And a bunch of emeralds, too. Not too bad. Is there a chest in this upper bit right here, though? Because there's a bit over here, and I don't know if there's actually anything down there. There's that strength potion. I don't know if those can despawn. I don't know if they, if they can. Definitely do want to use them and stuff. Weird uh, skeleton-like pillar right there. Crypt right here. Nothing's going on. Okay. I guess there's nothing too crazy about that, but let's grab this strength potion. I guess start clearing out this room. We could one-shot the second skele- or, uh, creeper now, and even the skeletons, too. Even the armored skeleton, too, I think so. Nice. All right, let's take care of all these heckin' things. Oh, creepers! Oh, get away! Destroy that heckin' TNT out there. Just take care of anything. And nice, it even took care of that armored zombie. It was still in range. That's amazing. And we still have strength for another 10 seconds. So we can one-shot creepers and stuff for a little bit longer. There we go. And I think we've pretty much cleared everything out in this general area. Seems like there's an area to... Golly, look at all this. There's a big area over here, you guys. Like, it just keeps going and going and going. I am going to get lost over here. No problem. Anything up here? There's got to be something in these like random crypts over here, but I guess not. Just random like tombs that have like crypts and, and and oh spiders. Oh wait, hold on, what's that up there? Is that something? I don't know if I can shoot an arrow at it. Something happens. I don't know. It looks like something can happen there, but I guess I don't know. It's kind of out of place. I guess it's just like an empty vase or something like that, just randomly. Find the lost tome. Alright, let's take the speed potion. I guess we'll take this creeper on. Of course, whenever we're going one-on-one -on -one with the creeper, we can take them out, no problemo. And is this... Yeah, that looks like that's the main path we need to go towards, so... Let's continue not going that direction. Try and go this other direction so we can make sure we... Oh, adventure around every direction. Oh, no, we got... Oh, kill them! No, man, we got heckin' webbed right there. I couldn't move. Ah, man. But yeah, there, there's like a whole area up here where it's not even telling us to come over here. God, that's three creepers right there. Four cre I didn't see that one right there. Jeez. I need to heal up, too. Try to take that out with a bow and arrow. There you go. And that's all of them down. Great. Yeah, see, this bow is pretty good. With full pullback, we can one-shot these creepers and stuff, which is good. And even getting a uh, bonus arrow, too, to do some extra damage, which is nice. Fire aspect right there. I don't know if there's anything with this crypt. Uh, 
I don't think so. Yeah, nothing's going on here. Yeah, there's more of those, like, vases right there. I guess it was just decoration, huh? Because they're not really doing anything. you think they would. They, they look kind of out of place from what we've been seeing so far, but I guess they're actually a part of the environment, huh? Anyway, is there a chest over here? Nope, there's no- Oh, wait, no, there's two of them! Oh, wait, no, those are the, uh, emeralds. Oh, wait, what is this thing? Oh, God, what happened? Oh, okay, well, that opened- Oh, that, like, set off, like, an alarm or something like that. We're taking on a lot of pillagers. Nice! A strength potion! That's exactly what I need during this, you guys. And I kind of want to take... There we go. Took the mushroom. So now we're going to be doing extra damage on top of the strength for an extra 10 seconds. Heal up there. There we go. Nice. Is that it? We took everything out there. Nice! And we got a bonus chest right there, too. Great! Man, that was cool. All right. Well, you definitely want to pay attention to these random pressure plates right here. Definitely want to activate them. And, uh, of course, use that mushroom to make sure we do extra damage for about 10 seconds. There you go, let's see what's inside of here. A common bow, some arrows, and a bunch of, uh, emeralds right there. Up to almost 1,400 heckin' emeralds right now, you guys. Really need to... I don't know if... Yeah, if we, like, save certain villagers and they'll stay in our camp or something like that, because we only have one villager right now. Maybe we can get, like, different types of villagers or something like that, because we need to spend these heckin' emeralds, you guys. It's crazy. <laughs> Anyways, range... What do we have here? Is this new one? Yeah, this is the new Railer bow that does 26 to 64, but we still have the long bow here that does 26 to 78. I really don't see a use for this, you know? And then the armor here, yeah, we have the Hunter's armor, 78 health, plus 10 arrow uh, per bundle, and then 30% range damage. I don't think it's really that good, like, compared to this, 96 health, 35% damage reduction, 100% souls gathered, 30% lifesteal aura. Yeah, I guess I'll salvage that and get even more emeralds, Galilee. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and then we have this thing, too. Oh, I guess, yeah, it shields you from projectiles. This totem radiates powerful energy that bursts forth as a protective shield and around those who are near it. So I guess if we're fighting a bunch of skeletons, which we kind of were during that, but a bunch of uh, illagers, too, uh, we can activate that and actually be shielded from arrows for a short period, like five seconds or something like that, like not too long. Yeah, 5.6 seconds, uh, 20 second cooldown. I think the mushroom is going to be a little bit more valuable than that, to be quite honest. Definitely do want to remember to use the soul stuff down there, too. The, uh, the explosion, the soul harvester, and the soul beacon down there. If I want to continue, uh, using those. They didn't really have to use them yet, guys, which is kind of crazy. Uh, oh yeah, we cleaned out that room. And of course, we look at the big map here, and it shows us where we've been, too. It, like, turns light gray and stuff, so that's good. So it seems like there is a whole area- Oh, we've, uh, opened up five chests out of four- Fourteen? I guess it went up. I guess we found a secret chest randomly. Maybe that was one of them right there that- Spawns in, of course, after you, like, hit a button or a pressure plate or whatever that was. But yeah, all this over here seems to be bonus area, too. It's crazy. Let's continue on, see if we can continue finding more delicious loot over here. Oh, creepers! Oh, man! Another creeper right there. Oh, well, did we one-shot that guy? We shouldn't be- yeah, we shouldn't be able to one-shot him just yet. I guess we did, a. Uh... Oh, wait, hold on. Stuff down here, let's clean out these creepers. Oh, wait! I don't know why my arrow didn't work right there. <laughs> Was it? Oh yeah, I hit the wall right there. Three creepers. Aim them down with full pullback. There you go, great. And the spider over there, not that big of a deal. Yeah, I, I want to adventure down this this lower bit right here, because it looks like it's just a like two rooms and that's it. So let's definitely see if we can find anything over here. Couple creepers! Oh! Oh, aim down the creperoo. Take out the zombie, aim down the other one. Nice. Is that it? Yep, that's all of them. Nice. Emeralds there. I don't know if there's anything in this middle bit right here. Creeper right there. Take care of him. Nice. Yeah, a lot of them are coming over here, you guys. Nothing really over here with these, uh, these candles. Skeleton's literally shooting at me from the other side. What are they doing? I don't know. There you go. Take care of that crapper. Yeah, there's nothing else over here. Yeah, that's it. And of course, down there is where we have to go for the mission, apparently, to find the, uh, the lost home. I'm not going to go down there just yet. There's so much over here that we're missing out on, you guys. That we could miss out on if we just, you know, follow the mission straight up, you know. Oh! Yeah, see, I one shot that creeper again. I don't know how. It's kind of crazy. I'm not, although I'm not complaining either. Seems like, uh... Oh, I got it. Oh, no! No! Man, I, like, ran right into those heckin' creepers. Jeez! With a heckin' TNT on my head, too. I'm surprised it didn't, like, burst those TNTs. That should definitely be something in the game. <laughs> although that'd be kind of crazy. Creeper explodes and explodes the TNTs on your head. I'm like, that happens in Minecraft, but... Thankfully, it doesn't happen in this one, or else I would have died right there, golly! Uh, oh yeah, there was, uh... Wasn't there some up here? No, there's nothing actually up here. Just a villager slash villager statue. Oh, I wonder if there's something on the wall back here now. Nothing to activate there. Of course, just a random, like, tomb right there that doesn't really have anything inside of it. And same thing over here with these two, like, green torches. you think something would go on there, but no. 246 arrows, though. Definitely want to continue using them, because, of course, it's going to get, like, wiped once we go back to the camp here in just a bit, you guys. 
you know, whenever that is, who knows how long it's going to take to heck and beat this map. Like, every episode, except for episode one, has been about an hour long thus far, so... Who knows how long he's going to... Oh, wait in the world, that's like a floating... That zombie was, like, floating right there. That's kind of crazy. There you go, we can melee him down, which is good. And, of course, remember, we do have a... Uh, let's throw that, there you go. We do have a, a, a lifesteal aura. Took care of all those things in that room, jeez. Man, I'm like, it was only, like, three skeletons, but still, jeez. But yeah, we, we can get, like, 3% of the life back... Every time we kill something, which is great. Now, of course, that's only going to be like one, two, three, four points here and there, but it adds up, you know? Anyways, oh, 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 man, if I got, if I got webbed by that spider right there, I would have died. Oh, man, right as I say that, any more creepers around here I need to take care of? I don't think so. It's just armored zombies, and that's it, and regular skeletons. And another creeper right there. Right, take care of that creeperoo. There we go. Got him. Nice. Armored zombies. Not that big of a deal, but you know what? Maybe I'll use this explosion of souls. <laughs> I love whenever there's like... Bones like flying in every do oh god. Oh god. Oh nice. I one shot of that creperoo. Oh even baited that creep right in. Oh that char charge. Whoa man. I need to watch out for these charged creepers. How'd that guy get charged? Is there an enchant oh, there is there is an enchanter over there, you guys. We need to watch out for him. A regular creeper right there. Oh, is that oh that charged one's still chasing me. Oh my god! Man, they speed up whenever they're like right next to you. 1400 Ecken emeralds in my inventory, you guys. Man, I need to Really watch out for that. Uh, oh, man. Oh, I thought I healed up right there. I accidentally hit the E button to heal, but thankfully didn't actually. Oh! Still a charged Creperu. Oh, that didn't take care of him. Okay, well, at least we baited out his heckin' explosion. Healing up pretty well right now, which is good. Where is the heckin' enchanter? Where is he? What? He, did he die? Did one of the creepers explode and kill him? Maybe. Because it looked like there was one enchanter over here, like charging up the creepers and of course making them a lot more resilient you guys saw i shot that charged creeper with my full pullback arrow it did like maybe a fifth of its heck in hell jeez thankfully i uh baited it out to explode right there which is good hunter's armor is actually green what oh god yeah 129 health compared to the 96 and then of course the damage reduction and all that and lifesteal aura and all that stuff i don't know if that's even better of course it has a higher power level and all but i don't think it's better Honestly, like, I've got to say, all the other- Oh, man! <laughs> all the other stat- Man, there's like three heckin' webs that stacked up right there, golly. All the other stats of this thing, every time I kill something, like, look at that, I got three health, five health, three health. Oh, God, that's a lot of creepers! Oh! I'm gonna go- And I'm gonna do my own heckin' explosion there. I don't know if any creepers did- oh, I think they did. Yeah, I think they did some damage to me right there, but- Oh, man, I had to do my own emergency explosion right there to take care of all those heckin' things ganging up on me right there, which is what that's for, which is great. <laughs> Glad that I haven't- in my heckin' hot bar. Of course, I have every other artifact still in my inventory, so I can always switch them out, but... Oh, what was that? There's like a weird, like, flash right there. I don't know if that was a glitch or what, but... Cleaned out this room over here, nothing. Once again, kind of want to look at the big map where, uh... Oh, what is that thing right there? Is that... Uh, that's probably where we have to go for the actual mission. Look at all that we have to go through, you guys. Golly! Anyways, still only one secret found. Six out of the 14 chests, so we're almost halfway there. And I think there's actually... Is there a chest over here, or was I just, uh... Oh, there's a... Shranthos right there, although we killed everything over here already. Yeah, there's nothing over here. You think there would be, but no. And <laughs> there's absolutely no, really nothing over here, so. Halfway to level 15, though. We're at level 14. Golly, that's not too bad, but. Yeah, strength potion right there is alright, but we've already cleaned out everything over here, you know? <laughs> it was kind of a waste. Kind of want to check these other corridors, though. Just in case. Yeah, okay, yeah, we already got that chest. Don't know if there's anything else we might have missed. Just double check, and you know, just because we have to go really far away, because we've cleaned out this pathway. Now we have to go all the way through all this trash, all the way through to there. So that's going to take quite a while to go back there, you guys. I might even consider pausing right quick, just in case we actually uh don't come across anything else for like another two, three minutes. So I'm going to have to cut out a bunch of footage. So yeah, it's going to take a while to backtrack. So let me just pause the recording real quick and get to here. <laughs> actually, like to here. Yeah, like right there, because I remember those two rooms right there. I'll get to like right here, and then uh, we'll come back and hopefully take on some- Oh wait, I'm- hold on, I'm hearing like a skeleton right now. There's still enemies around here? If it is, it might have just been like random noise. Maybe. Because I think we cleaned out like everything thus far. But yeah, it's going to take a little while to get to like right there. So go to pause the corner real quick, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Alright, guys, I'm back. Uh, I actually ended up going through, like, everywhere here in the map just to double check, see if I might have missed anything, and I don't, I don't think I found anything there, so that sucks, but I'm probably going to end up getting comments saying, oh, there was actually something, like, right there. <laughs> but at least I went back, checked, and I didn't find anything, at least for me, so that sucks. Uh, yeah, there's nothing else over here, and then now we're going to be entering yet another area where it looks like a 
a wall got like blown up or something like that. For this underground crypt area. It's kind of crazy, but let's just get- Oh, creeper root! Oh, I thought he baited out to, to kill him, but no! Oh, my uh, to explode, but I guess not. There you go. He exploded on his own right there, though. <laughs> Took a little bit of our health right there. We're not that big of a deal, but there you go. Uh, big room over here. Probably got a chest or so. Oh, yep, he's got a chest. A lot of zombies. Any creepers? There's a creeper back there. I don't see any- Oh, yeah, I guess I'll- Oh, man, I almost died right there. Jeez. Trying to aim down that creeper root, but- Oh, oh, well, there we go. We got him. Nice. But yeah, it seems like my thorns ended up doing a lot of damage right there, too. But of course, that means I took a lot of damage, too. There you go, kill that skeleton. Get a bunch of emeralds. Let's see if we get inside of here. Yep, showing up on the minnow, which is good. And it's just even more emeralds. But the almost 1500 again, so. Or in general. I don't know if we actually hit 1500 just yet. So that I did notice is that I could actually walk through leaves, which is great. So that's really convenient. I don't have to, like, get stuck or anything like that with leaves. So that's cool. But now, we have to go with up this northern bit right here. Even though it's telling me to go there, I'm going to go up here. Emeralds, okay. More emeralds over there, down down there. Freebaru took care of him, nice. Take care of that skeleton. Nothing up here. Now, yeah, I keep thinking those vases are going to be something, but they're not. There's like a wall of dirt right there. Oh! Oh, no, it's just one of those torch holder things. Man, I thought that was like a lever that was going to open up something, but nah. Yeah, we, we found out a little while ago, like an episode two ago, that thing's just a, a torch holder thing for the wall, and it, it just doesn't have a torch in it right now. We did see an emerald thing over here, though, so let's go grab this real quick. I wonder if we can go down there. Uh, do not look like it by the map, so I guess that's just decoration, huh? So, that sucks. If we want to keep looking at the ground for potential, like, pressure plates and stuff... Nah, I don't see anything. Man! Now we're like, it looks like we're going to be entering a big heckin- Oh! There are more of these, like, uh, grounds that, like, collapse. But I guess in multiplayer, are a little bit more dangerous when you have multiple people walking over that, you know? And I guess it uh, doesn't matter which direction I go over here. It's just gonna be in this big heckin' battle room over here, huh? Yeah, another one of those torch holder things. I forgot what those are called. Leave a comment down below if you guys remember what a torch holder thing is called. <laughs> I know it has like a technical name. I know it's down here. Probably gonna be a big, like not a boss battle, but like a mini boss or something like that. Oh wait, yep, there's a lever. That's definitely, oh, and that's gonna open up that gate. Yep. Open the gates, of course. <laughs> Let's go around here real quick, see if we can find anything. No random potions that are gonna give us strength. Yeah, I don't think so. Nothing showing up on the minimap just yet. No chest, no secrets, none of that. Oh, whoops, arrow right there, whoops. If we want to take a, uh, a mushroom here in just a moment, but let's open the gates. What's going to happen? Something's going to happen. Oh, Enderman, Enderman again. Oh, no, it's just regular stuff being spawned in right now, but I did take the mushroom right there, which is good. So now we're taking care of all these hacking creatures, illagers, zombies, armored zombies, and armored skeletons. Uh, TNT right there, I guess I'll throw. Oh, whoa, whoops, it bounced back. But, uh, that killed, oh, I killed a few things right there, not too bad. But yeah, we're, we're, we're able to take these guys on, no problemo. Like, our, our health regen from doing damage, our thorns, whenever they do damage to us, yeah, like, kind of reflects the damage back to them. So easy, and of course, our axe is such a great melee weapon, you guys. Nice. Still stuff spawning in? Yeah, seems like there's still stuff spawning in somewhere. And there is a bit down here. Oh, wait, yeah, there's a skeleton. I don't know if there's anything actually over here, but, oh, yeah, emeralds and... Oh, I guess that's it. Is that, uh, oh, did it spawn in a chest, or is that just in the battle is over music? Uh, no, I guess it's just, hey, the wall is open now, so. Oh, wait, yeah, there is a chest over here. Hey, yeah, definitely want to keep checking the minimap like that, you guys. Another pickaxe, an arrow bundle, a bunch of emeralds. That pickaxe is worse, apparently. It's got the red arrow. <laughs> Let's see, what is that? 43 melee damage. It's always going to be 43, so that sucks. 51 to 78, and it's common. It's only got power level 20. Guess I'll salvage it real quick. Yeah, it's got the extra emeralds, it's got the thundering thing down there, so it's not even got that good of enchantment, so that sucks. Either way, yeah, let's continue on. I don't know how well that, uh, that mushroom enchanted, or I don't even know if it's an enchantment, but it's, uh, oh god, it's an artifact thing. I don't know how well that mushroom thing actually fared during that battle, you guys, but it's actually single out all the, all the skeletons, or, uh, not the skeletons, but the, uh, the creepers. Make sure they don't do any explosions. Speaking of explosions, oh man, I don't even think there's anything over, oh god, I should have saved it for up there! A lot of stuff up there, you guys. Yeah, I should have checked the minimap, there's just like, actually nothing over here. <laughs> Whoops. There is a creveroo right here, we can single out, so there you go. Cut it- oh god, I cut his heckin' head off, sheesh. A little savage right there. <laughs> and it was a lot of creveroos up there, if I can bait- nice, bait that guy. Oh, he didn't actually cause like a chain reaction explosion right there, so that sucks. Guess I'll take a health right now. There you go, nice. Take care of the- oh! Still able to one-shot these creepers, though, that's good. Single them out, make sure they don't explode and kill me. And of course, I can take care of all the, uh, the skeletons on my own. Skeleton zombies, armor skeletons, armor zombies. Not that big of a deal. Somehow killed that guy. I think that was my, uh, thorns that actually killed him, so that's actually really, really good, you guys. 
I don't even have to like touch these guys for him to get killed. <laughs> there you go. Take care of these guys. There you go. And uh, is there an alternate? Mm, I, can't I think everything just kind of leads to each other. Oh wait. Oh, I guess you can still get stuck from the uh, from the spider things if you if they don't actually hit you and you ju you just walk into them. I guess you can still get stuck. So that's interesting. Just a, a pretty good amount of heckin' enemies over here, but they're still decently easy to kill. Oh god, yeah, that was a shadow thing right there. 408 damage right there. Kind of wasted, but there isn't really anything over here to actually aim down with that much damage, you know? So I guess that wasn't really too much of a waste. Because I was going to use it no matter what. Bunch of souls over here. Yeah, definitely want to continue using the B. Oh man, I should use the uh, the soul harvest explosion thing. Why is that spider running away? <laughs> it's kind of weird. <laughs> Let's see. Up there's like a big Ooh. That's where we need to go, yeah. So I guess everything over here we're going to have to explore on our own, so. Yeah. Oh, wait, what in the world? It looks like I could go through this on the minimap, but I can't. What? That's kind of strange. I don't know why it's like showing like that. That's kind of weird. I don't know if I could actually do anything. Yeah, I don't think I can do anything there. That's kind of strange. Anyways, let's head downwards this way. And it sounds like even more zombies and stuff. Oh, spider. Immediately took care of him. Another random vase right there. Doesn't really do anything, so that sucks. <laughs> And of course, regular spider webs on the ground that don't do anything either. Any creepers over there? I don't think so. Take care of these guys as I'm heckin' stuck. Guess I'll get them with the arrows just because I can't really do anything while I'm stuck. There you go. I'm stuck now, so that's good. Uh, no creepers up there, which is good. Just taking care of everything over here. That's just a spider, a skeleton, a zombie. Just random, normal enemies. Nothing too crazy, you know? There you go. And we haven't even gotten a better weapon than the axe just yet. We're still dominating with this thing. Which I'm not really expecting us to get a better weapon doing these, like, earlier level, Didn't we? Wait, yeah. Didn't we get the axe last level? I think we did, yeah. Well, I guess I stand corrected. Yeah, definitely makes sense to do these earlier levels. Of course, at the higher difficulty, so we get even better stuff. Higher damage, higher power level, all that kind of stuff, you know? So that's good. Clean out the- Oh, a couple creepers. Oh, three creepers, actually. Full pull back. Make sure- we Oh, took care of that uh, spy right there accidentally. Whoops. Nothing over there. Yep, nothing over there. So that sucks. Thankfully, I keep on checking on the minimap, making sure- Hey, there might be a chest that I didn't actually see just yet, but the minimap kind of registered, but... That's far enough, seeing it. Let's look at the big map real quick. So, one out of five. Oh, it went up to 15. Eight out of 15 chests open now. I think it was like 13 last time we checked. Now it's up to... F oh! This is something. Yeah, let's go and lead us to the to the new area, but I don't know if I want to take it on just yet, you guys. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. There you go. Oh, is that going to open up that? And close that? It's obviously opening up that. What's that big spooky sound all about? Uh-oh. I want to go there just yet? Can I not go this way yet? Yeah, I can't go this way yet. Ooh, I guess I have to go over here, do something. And then maybe it's going to open up. Oh. Uh-oh. Bunch of villagers over here. What is this? Is this... It, I don't know if this is going to be like a, a boss villager coming out of that, like, crypt right there here in just a moment after I kill all these enemies. I don't even know if these are, like, real enemies or what. If they're, like, holograms or something crazy. Yeah, they're just spawning in randomly. It's crazy. It's going to come out of there. Nope. Just opening up to the next area. Guess there's nothing inside of that tomb right there. Okay. Bunch of, like, fake holes, or I don't even know what, fake blocks, I guess you can call them false blocks. Oh! I found it! I found the tome! I found the lost tome! A lot of emeralds over here, you guys! Just open all of them up. There you go. There you go. And another chest with uh, another pickaxe, arrow bundle, a bunch of emeralds. Golly, we're up to almost 16 heckin' hundred. Sheesh. Oh, what's that down there? Just a bunch of trees, I guess, huh? I don't know why there's, like, battle music going on right now. It's just a bunch of emeralds. Which is crazy. Really need to, like, buy a bunch more of those, like, boxes from that one guy. There you go. Get even more of them. I think that's going to be all of them, you guys. And now we're going to get the tomb, or the tome, from the tomb. There you go. We got the lost tome. Now I can leave the crypts. And I assume... Oh, oh. Sounds like a lot of stuff are spawning in right now. Oh, yep. A lot of villagers. Oh, gosh. I might want to go run over here. Do the explosion! Speaking of explosion, another TNT right there to throw it over there. I don't know why those skeletons are going towards the heckin' TNT. It's crazy. <laughs> it's like they don't know what's going to explode and they can kill them, but... There you go. Took care of all them. Nice. We got a strength potion right there randomly. But I, I I like the little sound of... Oh, yeah, now it opens up. Yes, yes. Oh, and then there's a chest. The, oh, yeah, I don't even know if it... Well, it's got the red arrows, so I assume it's just trash, so... <laughs> I guess I'll heal up real quick. Let's see what these... Uh, 42 and 44. Well, these at least... Oh, smiting. I, I wonder what happens if you have double the, uh... Same enchantment right there. Are they just going to stack or what? I don't know. I guess so, huh? And, yep, we do have to go this way because there's nothing else, uh... In the other pathway, so... Take care of this armored skeleton there as we still have some strength. And another strength right there, which is good. Might even want to do an explosion here of Harvest Explosion. Boom! Take care of the heckin' creeper. As well as some other stuff. As I'm getting heckin'... Webbed by all these spiders. 
And we still have, uh, strength right now. I think it actually stacked on top of the, uh, the strength we had just a moment ago, so that's good. Seems like, uh, yeah, let's go this way. Because there's, like, a smaller area. Oh, creeper. I could one-shot him with the strength, which is good. Let's actually single him out. There you go. Take care of them preemptively. And, uh, there you go. Oh, shields and stuff over here. I wonder if we could actually interact with them and do anything with them. You guys still have strength, so I can still one-shot the creepers. Melee. I can still one-shot them, uh, full pullback with an arrow, or the bow and arrow, so that's good. Longbow, I think. But yeah, let's go this way. Seems like another air. Golly, this second tomb over here is crazy huge, guys. Uh, the Creeper Crypt or whatever this thing was called. Man, there is gotta be. Because there's five secrets, apparently. I've discovered one, I think. Did I discover more? Yeah, I've discovered one. And that was 17 chests. Jeez. We got 10 out of 17 chests thus far. Sheesh. I don't know if they're all ahead of us or... Because some of them are hidden and need to discover them. Because that number just keeps going up, you know? So, I don't know. Let's keep going this way. Because it looks like we discovered everything over here. Maybe we have, maybe we haven't. Who knows? I might have missed out on like two or three secrets already. <laughs> but there is a few like... Oh. oh, I thought something happened right there. I couldn't move, but yeah, I forgot that. I keep on wanting to go back to using my keyboard for moving around, but yeah. You can oh, whoa! Oh, clicked on the crypt right there. Didn't even mean to. I was about to say that's like a huge crypt right there, but there's a secret in there. Hunter's armor. It's got the red arrow, and I'm, I guess I'll just salvage it real quick. But yeah, is that a secret? It was! That's two out of five. Nice. There's got to be more stuff like that. I guess I'll just hover my cursor around so we can find any more secrets like that. We have 500 heckin' arrows on us right now, you guys. Man! I need to at least save my distance and just shoot everything with my heckin' bow and arrow. It's crazy. I don't think there's anything else over here. I don't think I need to waste my time, so I think we're fine. Yeah. Anyways. Yep, this is where- Oh, whoops. Oh, I accidentally just, uh, avoided that guy's arrow knife. Oh, God! A lot of stuff right there. I'm going to single out all the creepers. Oh, 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 I'm going to explode by the creep. Man, I was. I was webbed and everything. So that sucks. I should probably explode my uh, harvest explosion thing. There you go. To make sure I don't get ganged upon like that in the future. Kill that creeper. There we go. Kill that spider. Nice. Swiftness potion and a level up. Ra even ran away from that. I, I think I actually took a little bit of damage from that creeper right there. But thankfully for that swiftness potion, we were able to run away from him, which is great. I'm just going clear. Oh, 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 a pig. A pig. I don't know if that counts as- I don't think it counts as a secret. It might count as, like, a chest, though. There you go. Taking care of these- Whoa! Taking care of the crapperoos. Woo! There you go. Nice. Run into my flames, Ada. There you go. Those flames actually last for quite a while, you guys. Oh, is that pig it killed? I don't know if it just, like, squealed right there. There you go. Oh, man, I got heckin'- Oh, oh, there it is right there. Is that another pig or is that the same pig? I think they all- Oh! Man, I took more damage right there, but yeah, I think they all lead into the same room, you guys. Kill the heckin' pig, kill him. Give me those emeralds, give me those emeralds! There we go, give me all that heckin' loot. Oh, God! Oh, my God, I almost died right there. Oh, I've got the beacon out, whoops. Oh, I accidentally hit that one, but yeah, I, I did my heckin' harvest explosion right there to do a massive amount of damage to all the creepers nearby. Still took some damage from them, so that sucks, but... Aim them down. Another creeper! There we go, got him. Man, there are so many creepers. I'm mean, like, it makes sense, it's called Creeper Crypt, I think, right? Man. Oh, God! Look at all that down there! Jeez! You can get lost hardcore here, you guys! Man! I'm like, I was already talking about earlier about how you can get lost. Which way do I have to go? I have to go this way for the main mission, apparently? Golly, there's a lot of stuff down here that I'm missing. There's a creeper we can melee. There you go. Already full health, so I don't need to regen, so that's good that we already have the health ready to go. And one shot that heckin' crapper, nice. And at least we're cleaning out this path over here, and... Now we can move on to the other heckin' path, which is crazy huge, you guys. Like, look at all that down there. It's like a letter E up there. <laughs> I don't know if there's anything. I've gotta be missing so much. Like, golly. Oh, wait, what in the world? Yeah, see, like, stuff like this happens, too, where you, <laughs> you think you can go somewhere, but you can't. Ah, so I have to go all the way around here and then go up there, I think, right? Yeah, I do. Golly. Yeah, man. Let's look at the big map again. Oh, my gosh. How big is this? Oh my god, this is huge! At least we have 11 chests right now. That pig did count as a regular chest, which is interesting. And we cleaned out a decent amount of stuff here already, so that's good. All the way up to these creepers. And there's already even more creepers over there. And there's zombies and stuff in the way, so I can't even get to the creepers. Man, if I had my firework arrow right now, that'd be amazing, you guys. Creeper right there. Thankfully, no uh, spiders trapping us just yet, but taking down that creeper, taking down that creeper. These bonus arrows are doing some good damage. Just kind of extra, you guys, which is great. Like, they are bonus arrows, right? Anyways, yeah, I definitely do want to at least hover a cursor over every crypt, every tomb. Oh, 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 another, uh, creeper. Ooh, oh, oh, man, I was wondering, like, am I going to bait out an explosion or do I want to melee him down? But, ah, I'd time that. Man. But yeah, at least hover our, uh, cursor over everything, because we might be able to open him up and that'd be a secret, you know? So, nothing there, I guess. 
and okay. can't go that way right now. Golly. I wonder if I can zoom- can I zoom- oh, I can't zoom in on the, uh... Oh, you can't even use the scroll wheel to do anything, apparently. That would've been cool if you could, like, zoom in, zoom out. We have almost 1,700 heckin' emeralds right now, you guys. Man! That is just insane! There we go. And yeah, like, oh, golly. These, these, like, narrow corridors here are going to be the end of me with these all- these heckin' creepers everywhere. Some regenerate there, which is great. I'm surprised we still haven't gotten a weapon better. Oh, shadow thing right now. What do I want to take on these creepers? Let's do it. There we go. 200. Oh, yeah, because the axe does do some AoE, so we did 204 or whatever right there, and like 408. Golly, that was great. Nice little rhyme right there. <laughs> take on that creeper one on one. Mono we mono. There you go. Take on these zombies, too. And we're, uh, we're, we're slowly going through all these heckin' corridors here, you guys. It's crazy. Let's look at the big map. Yeah, I guess I'll go this way, because we could we could take on all these corridors here. And then we'll go back, we'll take on this bit right here, and then we'll go back to the main area. God, man. So much up here, you guys. I mean, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's kind of a bonus a secret level to get even more loot, to get even more emeralds. And, of course, if you're doing a, a higher difficulty, to get even better loot. Kind of like what I'm anticipating here, hopefully getting a better axe or a better, like, weapon in general. I wonder if we can actually get a better sword. Seems like the sword is just, like... The baseline thing, like even the pickaxe can be better than the sword, apparently, right? That's kind of crazy. And of course, the axe, I guess, is like better than the pickaxe, better than the sword, which is great. There we go, take care of that spider. We get so many heckin' souls, I'm not even going to be able to spend them all, you guys. Yeah, and we keep on coming across these like dead ends. You think they have something, but no. And I can't like rotate the camera or anything like that. I'm hovering my cursor over everywhere, and of course, move my character over everywhere, and making sure I cover all grounds that might unlock like a secret. I'm not seeing anything right now, you guys. Hmm. Wish we just covered this over here, but I guess it wouldn't hurt to double check like that, right? And, uh, have we discovered everything over here already? I guess we could start moving on to this bit. Yeah, right here. Keep heading up this way. A lot of- oh, a lot of creepers there. Let's not go into that room with a creeper chasing us. Man, I shot him and he still like an explode. Did some good damage to us. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, nice. Got him. I was wondering if I could still get the creeper even though that skeleton was in the way. Yeah, another creeper right there. Got him. Nice. Still doing some good regen right now, which is great. Creeper! Creeper down! And a skeleton there. Is that all? Oh wait, no, there's a creeper right there. That's good. Just a spider now, so that's great. Yeah, look at him retreating right there. <laughs> he knows he has no chance. And he didn't. Let's see what's over here. Is this just- a, yep, that's a dead end there. I guess we'll go to this big E room over here. Oh, it's another one of these! Ooh, cool! So I guess we'll activate it, because I don't think there's anything else over here, huh? I guess we'll activate it. It will, it will spawn in a chest after we defeat some enemies, I guess? Oh, yep. More ill- or, uh, yeah, armored illager right there. Regular zombie. Regular skeleton. Regular- another regular illager right there. Sheesh. Like you're really giving us too much. You think they'd have more armored stuff than normal? But no, I, I guess not yet, at least. It's still doing quite well right now. And there's the chest already. Golly, that's like nothing. And I'm not bragging or anything like that, but jeez. I haven't- I haven't replaced my armor in quite a while. How's that one? Red air on that one. Pork chop right there. I did also get some cows with you guys last episode, even when I was avoiding killing the, the, the cows and all that kind of stuff, saying, yeah, you should definitely kill the cows and the sheep and anything else. I don't know if you actually killed chickens. I don't think I've even seen a chicken. Oh, shadow. I ah, wasted it right there, but whatever. I don't even think I've seen a chicken just yet, you guys. I've only seen cows and sheep. I don't even think. Well, we've seen the pigs holding the chests and stuff, but that's like the only time we've seen them. I don't think we've seen them like just regular on their own without a chest on their back. Now then over here on these crypts or tombs or whatever you want to call these. I don't know. I keep calling them both. And yeah, I guess we'll just move on now to this, this like southern bit right here. Then after that, we'll take on this little path. Then we'll move on to the main area, which is like up here. Golly, this area is huge. I thought this would be like a 20, 30 minute episode because it was like a bonus area, you know, but no. This is like, it's, it's going to be another heck an hour long episode, huh? I'm like, you guys already know. You, you, oh, oh, another secret slash chest slash whatever that is up there. I guess it's- I guess it's not a secret because it's just out in the open like that, huh? I guess you have to actually be near it to spawn in, to count as a secret, but if it's out in the open like that, I guess it's just a chest, and I guess if it's gold, it indicates that it's good loot, instead of just emeralds and trash loot, I guess. <laughs> Thankfully, no creepers around here. We can take all these guys on with the- there you go, the web- or, uh, whoa, we're getting webbed with the, uh, the bone arrow, which is good. Look at how many heckin' arrows I've got inside of me right now. Poor job right there. It's inside of this chest. Another heckin' hunter's armor. It's actually got the green arrow. It's rare. I guess we'll check here in just a moment, see what it is. I'm gonna click on that, uh, villager slash villager statue, can't tell, because it's gray. Uh, and, uh, like, a statue, he's, like, made out of stone, you know? I know the villagers are, like, gray, but whatever. 
Anyways, nothing else over here either. No secrets. I guess we'll check out the mini map or the main map here in just a moment. See our progress. Yeah, 13 shots out of 18 now. Still two out of five secrets. So yeah, we, we cleaned out all this down here now, so that's good. I guess we'll check on that uh, that armor that we just got. Oh yeah, more of these railer bows that are still doing less actual range damage. I guess I'll salvage all of them then. Sheesh. Because we keep picking them up and they're not better than the longbow that we have right now. At least, I'm like, even the, the main damage, 26. 26, yeah, I'm like, it's matching the main damage, but even like the full pullback damage is like... Less than the full pullback of our uh, rain or our uh, long bow, and the, the enchantments are okay on them, but like not really worth it to kind of step down in terms of like full pullback damage, you know. Anyways, uh, oh, did we go this away yet or what? Oh yeah, we did. It's like a dead end. Yeah, see, we keep on running into like weird dirt slash grass walls. I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know if it's symbolized. I don't. I wonder if we get like a shovel and like shovel those down and find some loot or something like that. That'd be kind of crazy. Yeah, we already went into that E room up there, so now we need to go. Oh, I wish you could set like waypoint markers. So we could actually go like to a specific area without like following these weird things right here, you know? So that would be this area up here. Yep, yep, there's a creeper right there indicating we haven't been there just yet, so that's good. Grab these emeralds. Oh, nothing over here. Just a bunch of random candles right here. And there's a creperoo, which we can take on no problem. I guess we'll take that strength potion. A lot of creepers there, and of course we could one-shot them. But we don't need to do full pullback with the strength. We could just kind of spam it, and yeah, we took them out. No problem right there, which is great. Nothing over here again. <laughs> Man. Yep, and that should be... Oh, wait, was it this or was it that that we need to discover? I don't know. I guess we'll go to both, just because... Who knows? I'm like, we, yeah, we haven't been here because we had to... Creepers right there we had to fight, so... I guess that's a good indicator, whether or not we've been there or not. You know, if there's mobs still there. But now, yeah, this looks... No, yeah, we, we... We've... Yeah, I remember those stairs. Over here... I think, yeah, I think we've been here. No mobs at all. Yeah, yeah, I remember this. I'm like, everything looks so familiar, too, so it's hard to even remember where you've been. But yeah, let's just keep following the main... Markers here, and then, yeah, there's like a bit over here. Creeper back there. Guess I'll get that spider with full pull back, guys. There's a bit down here that might have some stuff, so I guess we'll check. Another weird dirt wall right there. See, if I mine that, is there something behind it? I don't know. Like, I, I just need like a... Yeah, look at this right... Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, there's still stone right there. So even if I was able to, to shovel that dirt right there... Oh, I wonder if I could roll off the second edge and go down there. I doubt it. It doesn't look like that actually goes anywhere. It looks like pure decoration. It looks like weird water up there. But yeah, let's just... Do I, I'm like, I've got full... It's going to take like 37 damage or something like that, right? Oh, yeah, there's like an invisible barrier right there. Man! Oh, what in the world? Uh, yeah, we take a little bit of damage right there, but nothing too crazy. We've got like 500 arrows. We need to heck and use them, you guys. Jeez. Take everything out from a distance. And of course, I... Oh, no, 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 not this one. I was about to say, the further away things are, the, the more damage our arrows do. Oh my gosh. I'm about to use the heckin' beacon against all those guys. I haven't used this in a while. Even started using them up here to take care of the creepers and stuff. Nice. Took care, or take care of the armored zombies right there, no problem. And a, uh, another green arrow hunter's armor. Yeah, I, I need to check the other one. I meant to do that. Another chest right there, which is good. Should be 14 out of 18 right now, I think, unless we discovered any more secret ones. So over here on the mini-map. Yeah, another room right there, so that's cool. And let's go up here. Oh, it looks like a dead end over there, so we should definitely go up there and see what's going on up there, you guys. We got another creperoo and a zombie. There you go. And some more arrows. Back over 500 arrows right now, you guys. Sheesh. See, that's why I keep on saying, yeah, let's just use our heckin' arrows. I guess we'll clear out this room real quick before we go back to that other area. There you go. Take care. Oh, a lot of creepers over here. Full pullback. And regular zombies to get them with the melee. And take care of these creepers. Nice. What's that? Shrink? No, Shadow Brew. Nice. Anything in this room? Other than the mobs, of course. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, I got so many comments last episode, too, saying, yeah, you missed, like, so many arrow bundles. How long does this last? No, 10 seconds. Yeah, it doesn't really last too long. But yeah, I'm like, if I have, like, 500 arrows and I miss an arrow bundle, I don't think it's that big of a deal. But at the same time, remember, <laughs> they get reset when we go back to the campsite, apparently, so... I guess it's not really that big of a deal if I miss out on them, huh? Got some stuff over here, so that's good to know that we haven't been here just yet, so we can make sure we cover all grounds and make sure we'll miss out on any heckin' loot. And there is that area over there that we need to go to for the mission, apparently, so let's not progress too far ahead. Let's see what's beyond this bit. Might be another mini-boss battle, or whatever, to spawn in a bunch of mobs for us to fight. At least temporarily. Creeper there, another creeper. Oh man. There you go. Oh wait, no, it takes us... Oh, yeah, that leaves... Uh, I don't, I don't want to leave just yet. Yeah, don't don't want to leave. Don't want to leave. Is there anything else over here real quick, though? I'm like, speaking of real quick, I'm like, we're moving real quick right now, which is good. But yeah, that leaves the crypts, so that's going to be the end of the level. Well, let's not do... Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, I don't want to go there. I don't want to try it. Who knows what's going to be out there, but... Let's continue adventuring this way. Oh yeah, I wanted to check. Uh, no, I guess, I guess that was 14 out of 18. Yeah, we had 13 earlier, so of course that'd be another one on top of that, of the 14. And, oh yeah, the, I guess the spiders can throw webs above walls, which is crazy. Oh god, that's a lot of stuff right there. There's a lot of stuff in every direction. Sheesh. I don't know if I should use my, uh... My soul explosion just yet, but I should definitely aim down that crepper Oh wait, no, never mind. He, he exploded himself. Nice. <laughs> and there's more creepers up there. Like three, four of them, five of them, or something like that. So let's get them all. Oh, the spiders are just webbing a bunch of heckin' wall. <laughs> they're not even hitting anything. There you go, got him. And I guess we'll go up here. Yeah, it's just like a big room. And then, uh, it's just that, and that's it. Oh, hit a tree right there. Yeah, that sucks. Take care of that creeper. Nice. There's regular zombies there. Anything over here? No, just an emerald thing and not even a, uh, oh, oh, creeper right there. That was a really close one. Yeah, there's not even a, uh, like a, like a platform slash pressure plate or whatever to activate. Like, do any mini boss battles. That sucks. And nothing else up here. Hmm. Yep, once again, just a random room. It, like, it looks super duper copy pasted. I really wish there'd be a little bit more variety in these room designs, you know? Because it looks exactly, like, look at that. The tree placement's like the same as that room that's like right there, too. And there's like even more of them that direction. <laughs> So it's kind of crazy how many of these areas like look exactly the same. Was, uh, yeah, I guess we'll go this way because it ends a little bit preemptively too. Aim down that creeper, take care of him. That's good. And uh, yeah, see, oh, whoa. Oh, nice. I think my flames killed that uh, creeper right there. Yeah, nice. See, uh, nothing with these crypts, tombs, or whatever these are right here. And there's, oh my god, there's like five, uh, five creepers up there. Jeez. Or down there, or whatever that would be. Sheesh. There is like, still two, uh, yeah, still two out of five. And that's the end of there, so there shouldn't be too much more of this level, right? Either that or we're only halfway through the heckin' thing. Jeez. I don't know. Oh, that's a hole. Oh, there are all the creepers right there. Going to get them with a beacon. Oh, wait, whoops, that was the wrong thing. Oh, I still had some souls right there. Whoops. Uh, anyways, let's get these guys all with the, uh, the bow and arrow. Just because, oh my gosh, I'm stuck from all these, there's so many heckin' spiders right now. Oh, 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 creepers right there. Going to get them with the beacons. Oh, I just annihilated like, like 15 heckin' creepers right there with a beacon. Man! And we got a shred potion right there, too. A little bit too late. And a bow that's apparently good, but it might not be that good, apparently. Oh, whoa, whoa. Emerald thing right there, nice. A lot of spiders over here. I mean, I can burn them with my heckin' path. There you go. Yeah, they're too far away for that, though, unfortunately. Arrow bundle, we're almost at. Oh, we're probably gonna hit 600 arrows by the time we leave this heckin' tomb, right? Sheesh. And uh, another statue right there. Doesn't really do anything. I, I guess those statues will never do anything, huh? So strength right now, so that's good. Let's continue killing these freaking mobs with their extra damage, so that's good. Uh, oh, hold on, before we progress too much this direction, let's go down here and let's explore this. I don't know what this would be, like another room or what? There you go. Oh, whoa, I didn't kill that creeper right there. Whoops. I guess I didn't have full pullback, huh? Yeah, nothing over here either, man. Like I'm clicking on the, the tombs. Oh, wait, yeah, weren't we here? I don't know, maybe we were. I'm like, that creeper was still there, so I guess we didn't kill him, huh? But yeah, then we go into this room and there's nothing there. Some like skulls in there. I wonder if there's like a hidden skull. Like if you click on them, that'll be a secret and you can activate it. I, I guess I should definitely keep my eyes peeled for that, you know? See if there's anything like on these edges here that might be out of place. I can click on and that'd be a secret that I can activate. So definitely keep our eyes peeled for more of that, you guys. I guess I'll go this way, yep. And there's nothing over here. I guess I I, I wasn't here yet, but I guess everything over here already got killed. Or at least got lured to me and then got killed. So that's good. I'm like, there's a lot of heckin' mobs that we just took on, so... Not too surprised by that. And there's spiders right there. There you go, got them. Or, man, those emeralds, like, went flying. <laughs> Jeez. And, uh, oh, is this the end? Uh, or, like, the close to the end, maybe? I don't know. Guess I'll do that to... Yeah, see, look at that. They're, like, running towards the heckin' TNT, which I'm not complaining about one bit, but it's kind of stupid of these guys. <laughs> Anyways, let's keep... Oh, yeah, keep going this way. Keep our distance from all these things. Spiders, skeletons, everything else. Another TNT right there, which is going to be great. But everything over here is already dead. Yeah, look at this. This is the end, I guess, huh? So that's good. And there's going to be a room over here full of hacking mobs. Another chest of- Oh! That was a good placement right there. Creeper Explorer, those enemies. Nice. Kill that one right there. A lot of things got exploded. Look at that. Like, rib cages of skeletons and skulls and stuff over there, too. It's crazy. Bunch of emeralds. Almost 2,000 emeralds now. We almost doubled our emeralds. Well, not really almost, but you guys know what I mean. We had, like, 1,300 when we started the episode, right? But still, we got like 700 this episode thus far. Sheesh. Or at least we will by the time we get, like, hopefully all the chests and stuff, right? Sheesh. What's over here? Are there any false things? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, weren't we just here? Yeah, we were just here. 
guess we'll cover this bit over here just to make sure we cover it. Oh, another uh, platform thing, so that's good. We can get another battle and get another secret chest, I think, right? Or just a regular chest. I don't know. Oh, wait. There's a regular chest. That's going to open after we do the battle, I think. Yes. Oh, yeah. There's like three pods over here, apparently. Yeah. I don't know if they're. Oh, what is that? Are you kidding? Wait. There's even more? There's like a, a thing over there. What? Oh, I guess we're going to have another battle over here because it looks like the same thing there, like three pods or whatever. Like, you know, whatever after we uh, do the little battle right here. So, so I activate that. Take a mushroom here in just a moment. Once the enemies start actually coming in, so. Ba boom, mushroom time. Do extra damage, a little bit extra speed for like 10 seconds, but oh my gosh, look at this. Even our attack speed seems to go up too, which is great. Look at how crazy we are. It's like we're on a sugar rush right now. It's crazy. Take care of that skeleton. Take care of that zombie. And that's it right there, you guys. Nice. Chest right there with another uh, sword. Rare sword. Point on power, but it got the red arrow. So I assume it's trash. <laughs> inside this regular one right here. There you go. Just arrow bundle, a bunch of emeralds. A bunch of emeralds inside both of these right here. I wonder if the, uh, the bluish vase gives us... Oh, and we even got a uh, shadow form right there. Interesting. Or uh, swiftness. Yep, that's just swiftness. I think the, the blue ones, maybe those give you more emeralds. I don't know. I'm not counting. But we're almost at 2,000. There's actually nothing over here on this one right here. Yeah, like I keep saying, I guess maybe in a higher difficulty they'll give you something there, but not in this one. I think we're on the second to the highest difficulty, default five, I think. So, yeah, eh. I don't know if I should have done a harder difficulty. Like, we haven't died yet. We haven't died in multiple episodes. And I'm not bragging when I say that. But maybe we should... <laughs> I don't know if we should do two levels above what it's recommending. Like, maybe. I guess we'll do another one right here. Get the mushroom ready. Ready for the mushroom? Or is it just going to open it up automatically? Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, it does just uh, open it automatically. But we still have to fight stuff, which is interesting. I don't even know if I... Ah, I guess I'll take the mushroom. There you go. Take care of these illagers. Take care of the zombies and the skeletons. No creep. You know what? Yeah, they should definitely spawn creepers during this. That would make it a lot harder. Maybe they do that on the uh, the default five... Or default six difficulty. There's the last skeleton. I think. Is that all of them? Oh, wait. No, there's the last one. There you go. Got him. There you go. Now we got him. <laughs> and there's the, the prize chest. Once again, this is like a copy-paste of the other one. Rare, I guess a blue vase there, regular vase there, regular chest there. And of course, there's the loot chest, which probably doesn't have anything too good in there. <laughs> so yeah, I I'm kind of inclined to do- oh, whoa! Archer's armor. <sighs> it's unique, but it's level powered level 23. Is it really that good, though? Let's check. I'll give it a chance. Whoa, man, interesting. It's got four buffs on it, or four, like, effects or whatever. It's got 115 health, which compared to this one is like 90-something, 90 96. And plus 15% mood speed aura, so it, it makes me faster as well as anyone that's near me, but that doesn't matter because I'm in single player. Uh, plus 10 arrows per bundle, so it's still better in all these. Because it's got the 10, plus 10 arrows per bundle, better health, it's got the mood speed thing, and it's got the range damage. Yeah, still, so it's got the same range damage thing too. This one's got a plus 130 health right there, sheesh. It's crazy. And this one's unique, but it's a lower power level. It's almost got the same though. But yeah, if, any, if anything, we're probably going to keep this one. If I'll end up using it. I'm like, I've got so many heckin' arrows. Should we just from now on only use arrows? And what what are the things we have down here? Uh, oh yeah, we have like a fire aura around us or something like that if we use it. Oh yeah, we have three uh things right now. Three uh enchantments right now. We need to use those. Food uh, reserves. Whenever you use a healing potion, you also create a random food item, which is always nice. Because they can give you actual regen buffs for a little while. Deflect. Grants a small chance to deflect incoming projectiles. 20% chance to trigger. I'm kind of thinking about the burning aura. If I do enchant this thing. Because at least we have a little bit of a fire effect around us. Because we're, we're going to be doing mostly ranged while using this thing. So if anything gets like up close next to us, at least we're going to do a little bit of passive damage to them. So that'd be good. And of course, using uh, a second level enchant, which we could afford right now. This is going to take one enchant. The second one's going to take two of them. That's going to be all of them right there. Unless we, of course, salvage something that's enchanted and get some enchantments back. But that'll do seven damage per second. Or seven damage. Or 14 damage per second, because it says right there, every half second it damages all enemies in melee range. So, this will be doing 14 damage per second. Ooh. Interesting. I'm thinking about it, you guys. But I'm, I'm also thinking about salvaging all these regular versions of that. So, let's get rid of all these. Just clean it. Oh, whoops. Just kind of clean those out. Get a little bit of emeralds and go over that, like, 2,000. Oh, yeah, look at that. We're at 21 heckin' 100 right there. Sheesh. There's another regular bow right there. I'll salvage. So, there you go. And, uh, yeah, these two picks right there, I'll salvage those too. So, there you go. And we got a, uh, a rare sword right there. 29 to 47, compared to 51 to 78. And once again, needs to be better, you guys. Like, the power level is just not that good. This is 27 power level. I feel like we're not- and this is a 28. The mushroom is 28, golly. 
or 28 artifact level or whatever that is. <laughs> we just need to get something like, like on par with a heck of axe up there, you guys. It's crazy. Oh, well, we're going to get a decent amount of emeralds from that 142, so I guess I'll salvage payback. Oh, that's what it's called. I thought I was like, what the, the sword, I thought it was called payback. <laughs> but no, yeah, I'll salvage it. Get a little bit of emeralds from that one. There you go. And, uh, yeah, oh, I guess I didn't salvage that one, so, oh, wait. Yeah, that's the one, yep. Just wanted to make sure, didn't want to get rid of that one. Because I'm probably going to end up using it. And, uh, oh yeah, we have the Torment Quiver thing that gives us slow arrows that knock back enemies and mobs and passes through walls and stuff, so that's going to be really cool if we could do that. 28 range damage, one second cooldown, plus one soul gathering. Hmm, that might be pretty interesting. And of course we have the Totem of Shielding, so I can shield myself from projectiles for a little while. And of course we have the, the Wolf to spawn him in. I don't know, maybe I'll use this one, at least test it out, the Torment Quiver. Get rid of the, because we might be done with all the mini boss battles or whatever for now on, so I guess I'll put the Torment Quiver down there. We can test it out for a little while. And, uh, yeah, let's actually enchant that armor. I guess switch on over to it. So that would be, which one? The flame? Yeah. Upgrade that one. Upgrade to level 2 for 7, or 14 damage per second, so that's good. I guess we'll switch over to it right now, I guess. So there we go. Oh, look at that! We even have, like, a little hood right there, too. Cool. So we're going to get rid of the damage reduction, the extra souls gather, but that doesn't really matter. We already get really good soul gathering. <laughs> and then lifesteal aura. We're going to get rid of that one, unfortunately. For extra range damage, extra arrows as if we need that, and extra movement speed, and extra health, so. Oh yeah, there's the fire aura around us, nice. So if anything's in that bubble, I guess it'll catch on fire too, huh? Oh wait, is that the end of the level? I think we actually did everything here, you guys, whoops. Yep, looks like it, oopsie doopsie. <laughs> Man, I'm thinking about pausing real quick. Going through everything over here, seeing if we might have missed anything. Because I feel like we... I'm like, we actually did. Like, we're actually about to leave right- we, We're missing one chest. And we're- Well, there is like an area down here that we saw, though, right? But we're missing three secrets and one chest. I don't know if anything's like stuck in the wall. Like these skulls over here, I keep thinking that. Might have- I guess there's like two skulls there, one skull there. Who knows? If- I don't know. I, I really think there's something here I'm missing, you guys. And I'd hate to like pause and, and do it all off camera and be like, Oh yeah, look at this. I found it, you guys. But I might have to do that if I want to actually get the secrets, because there's just way too much heckin' area up here for us to, to go over every inch again on camera, you know? Because this episode's probably already an hour long. <laughs> so who knows, it'll probably be like two hours if I did that, you know? So, I don't know, maybe I'll just do that. Hug like all the walls here, so if I could find anything. Because I think we, we've discovered everything here already, so... Yeah, I don't, I don't want to miss anything here, you guys. Because we're about to heckin' miss three secrets if we leave, because there was nothing else here. We've already discovered everything. Uh, like, in this tomb, apparently. Apparently. I, I don't like it. Apparently there's still three secrets we haven't found, but... Yeah. I guess I'll just go around real quick, you guys. I'd hate to end this episode off and be like, okay, guess we didn't get three secrets and then have to come back for a future episode, and this is a... This is way too big of a heckin' tomb for us to miss out on three secrets to come back and have to do it again, you guys, so... Yeah, let me just pause real quick. Trying to be a little bit more thorough, and hopefully I'll actually find something, you guys, so... I'm gonna pause the recording real quick, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Alright, guys, back. I went through, not not the entire map, but a pretty good amount of the map. Couldn't find anything. So, I assume whatever that is down there is going to be having maybe one or two secrets. Maybe all three of these secrets that we missed out on? I don't know. And then, of course, we still have one chest we missed out on, which is really close. Like, I'm, I'm kind of discomforted by that. It's kind of crazy, but... Okay, yeah, okay, so, yeah, when, whenever I saw that bit down there, wait, it's taking us outside, though. Wait, leave the, yeah, I left the crypts already, what are you talking about? Uh, oh, God! What is all, what is that up there, another entrance? This area is here, this is going to be multiple episodes. This has got to be multiple episodes. Because this, this, this creepy crypts or whatever, yeah, creepy crypt. This is way too huge of a heckin' map, you guys. I cannot do this in one heckin' episode, even though I already looked at the footage, it's over an hour long right now. I don't know what that'd be once I cut it down and stuff like that, but this has got to be like a second episode by now. So hey, welcome back to some more Minecraft dungeons, if that's the case. <laughs> oh yeah, we're, oh yeah, that's where we're supposed to go. Let's, let's go where we're not supposed to go. Because of course we're trying to, you know, go, go against the man and try and find, <laughs> try and find to make it loot. So, let's go this way. Let's go downwards a little. Oh, whoa, yeah, look at that right there. Oh, that's, that's a terrible sword, nice. <laughs> but yeah, look at that, he like went into our fire aura. And he actually took a little bit of damage right there, which is kind of cool. Yeah, let's remember to use our bow. Oh, wait, this is a secret. Yep. Secret right there. Arrow bundle and a new bow that's probably not even that good, even though it has a green arrow. <laughs> At least compared to our current longbow. But does that count as a secret? Yeah, it did. 
Yeah, that's number three. Okay, well, yeah. I guess that explains why we still have like two more heckin' secrets we haven't found yet. You guys got me. And let's go up here. Go across this like tree bridge. There you go. And uh, oh, a creeper down there. Let's actually get him from a distance. 101 damage. Remember, we do like 30% more damage with ranged weapons now because of our uh, new like, oh, bonus shot right there too. Well, I guess I don't have to do pull, uh, full pullback to do a fatal shot to a heckin' creeper now, right? Just because we have the extra 30% or whatever right there, so that's cool. Let's adventure over here so we can find anything. Nope, nothing. And the music is really kind of getting spooky here. Like, organs playing and stuff. Another chest. It's going to be chest number 20, I believe. We got a TNT on our head randomly right there. What? Yep, that's chest number 20 out of 20. I wonder if we're going to find any more, because any chest we find from now on are going to be bonus hidden chests that only spawn in after a certain event. Anyways, down here. Let's, let's see what's down here before we explore those branches up there, if you want to call that. Yep. Emerald thing right there. And nothing else. Yep, yeah, okay. Glad we checked that. Oh yeah, another thing I noticed is that because this armor does not have the... Oh, does it have a secondary, uh... It does not. It only has one enchantment. Ooh. Well, wow, this one, remember, has the thorns and the fire trail. I may switch back that one every now and then, you guys. I might not just grind it up immediately to get to, to salvage it. To get the stuff back. Oh, whoops, that was the TNT. I forgot it. Still had that on my hanging head. Well, if there's anything... Oh, wait, what in the world? There's a campsite over here. What? Uh, there's nothing over here, though. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, but yeah, if, I don't know when I'd switch back to that other armor. I don't know if I'll do it too frequently. That was, like, not, no pullback right there. We killed that creeper, did, like, half damage, so that's good. So I just have to, like, spam two arrows to kill him with our current setup. So that's just, that's interesting, but I'll kill that creeper. There you go. Yeah, I can spam these, which is great. There you go. I'm finding, like, campsite. I've got to be finding a villager out here, huh? I can recruit back to our campsite. I potentially buy more stuff from. That's gotta be what we're doing over here, right? Well, we just discovered these two branches over here, which is nice. But yeah, like I was saying earlier, this does no longer have the uh, the fire trail whenever we like roll like that, so that sucks. But of course, we do now have the fire aura around us, which is good. Kinda wanna double check this, just in case there's something over here. Uh, yeah, I think we can go inside that tent, so that sucks. But yeah, it's gonna take a little while to go back to like there. So let me just pause real quick and, or at least cut out some footage real quick, and I'll see you guys here in a bit once we get back on track. All right, so about right here. Yep, this is where we have to continue going. So, yep. Man, this this, this map is like heck, way too heckin' huge. It's crazy. Fire aura. Oh, wait. Creepers right there. Nice. They killed each other. That's great. That skeleton even got killed, too. I'm trying to use the fire aura thing, like, against these guys. I really want to see how effective it actually is. But, of course, I have to, this, it's not good to use that against, like, a creeper. Let's do it against this armored zombie, though. Just stand here. Yeah, he, he, okay, yeah. Oh, God, well, he does pretty good damage. Shoot 36 or whatever, 32 or whatever that one he did right there. Remember, we have no damage reduction with this armor. So, of course, we're going to be taking full damage. And that's where we need to go, apparently, yep. That's where we need to go, so let's not go there just yet. And, of course, our fire aspect actually killed that creeper. Nice. Let's actually get this one from afar. That's good. Kill that zombie. Nice. I like how that creeper's like, I don't even know what he's doing. It's like his head was shaking. Like he's in <laughs> disbelief that he can died. A bunch of villagers over here, though. I guess we'll try and clear these guys out. Of course, we do. Oh, whoa. another bow that is apparently better, but who knows if it actually is. And you guys were saying, oh, wait, there was a magical illager up there. They actually killed him right there, which is good. Because usually those guys probably don't have as much health as the other ones. Yep. But you guys were, yeah, saying, kill the sheep, kill the cows. They can drop stuff, so I'd hate to do it, but we might have to I can kill that cow right there. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll use the shadow thing. Just kind of hide myself and make sure that cow doesn't know it's me killing him. <sighs> Anyways, let's go down here. Let's see what's in this direction, because there's two more branches over here. Like, wait, oh, another cow. But, uh, I guess I'll go to this one. This one's a little bit closer. That way we can kind of clear. Oh, wait, this is another secret. Yep, that's going to be secret number four out of five, I believe. Picked up another bow. And, yep, four out of five, 20 out of 20 chests. So, that exit up here, that's got to be the exit of the map, huh? That's got to be it, because we're, we're finding the secrets. We found all the chests thus far. So, I can only assume there's, uh, nothing else to this. Yeah, that sword is trash. Salvage that garbage. And what was, uh, what was I picking up? Oh, yeah, a lot of, like, railer bows. Yeah, we have the hunter bow, too. 18 to 45. Yeah, the 45, though, we do that almost normally from this railer bow. So, and then, of course, this trick bow, there's, like, almost no damage. I really wish we could get a really good version of that. Or, like, a higher, higher power level version of it, because this is only, like, six right there. And this is still a level 6, even though it does decent damage. I need to find another heavy crossbow. It's, like, good. I need to go back to that map that actually drops heavy crossbows, you know? Trying to kill whatever drops that, or loot whatever drops that, you know? But uh, artifacts, enchanted, and cosmetics over here. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else I want to drop right now. 
2,300 heckin' emeralds. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> a little bit nonsense right there, if you ask me. Another cow right there. I don't think I'm going to kill him. At least for right now. Uh, I think we already have all the... Oh, wait, is that another secret? That's all the secrets right there, you guys. That's the end of the map. Five out of five secrets, 20 out of 20 chests. Well, that's good, you guys. Nice. We got everything. So that's, I actually feel good now. <sighs> kind of feel like I wasted my time going back twice now. And uh, going back through the entirety of the heckin' cave over there, the dungeon. <laughs> Here in Minecraft Dungeons. But I'm, I guess I'm glad that I did it. You know, just in case there actually was something over there. But at the same time, I still heck feel stupid for doing it. <laughs> so that sucks. Yeah, look at the Shadow Brew still there. So I guess we'll hide and then kill the cow for a 408 damage and it died in vain because it didn't drop anything right there. Golly. Yeah, look at this. This is another copy-paste job right here. Remember those that bridge and these stairs? And then right here was like the end of the... Yeah, right, right here's the end of the level. So I guess that's it, huh? Oh, wait, no, there's something right there, too. Oh, yep, that's the end of the level. So, yeah, we did it, you guys. Nice. Mission ending in one and... No intro, no outro from the commentators. That sucks. Or the narrator, or whatever you call it. I guess I'm the commentator. 19 healing done, 82,300 damage dealt, zero players down. Of course, I didn't die during this one, which is good. And projectiles hit 138%, which I guess is because of the bonus arrow. We have that uh, over 100% number, so that's interesting. Let's open up this chest. Seems the side of this loot chest. Another tasty bone, but it might be higher level than the one we have right now because it's got the green arrow. Interesting. Let's see. What is the tasty bone we have right now? 26, 18. I think... Yep, yeah, okay, so this new one does 57 damage. The old one did 38. Interesting. Let's, let's get rid of the old one, I guess. Salvage it, you know, just so we don't have any repeats over here. So there you go. Got rid of that. And I guess that's going to be the end of this episode or multiple episodes? I don't know. I'll have, to, I'll have to figure out while I'm editing the video. If I want to cut these up into like two 40 minute episodes or whatever, and, or upload one hour 20 minute long episode or whatever this be by now, but <laughs> let's go over to the blacksmith. We've got 2,400 heckin' emeralds. Let's buy some stuff from him for only 98. Rapid crossbow! 18 power. High fire rate. New reloading technology allows or helps this crossbow fire more rapidly than those that came before it. Let's see. Is that actually good? 12 range damage. It's got the green arrow. It's got, uh, what is that? Punch? Oh, yeah, boost arrow. So it's kind of like a knockback, but for arrows. Then the fuse shot for this one, as we've had before. Hmm. 200% pushback. That's actually decent. But it. I'm like, with the high fire rate, it actually might be decent to, to kind of, you know, shoot back creepers to make sure they don't come any closer, you know? I might consider the punch, because that's 200% punchback. It's kind of crazy. Or pushback. It's kind of crazy, you guys. I guess I'll test it out. Let's test it out. How many arrows do we have? Because we had actually like 600 right there. Yeah, we're down to 132. So we lose. We only keep like a percentage, I guess, huh? So that sucks. Uh, no bonus chest up there. It might be somewhere else throughout the entirety of the map. Unfortunately, I can't see the minimap during this uh, campsite. Oh, wait. Yep, there it is right there. No, okay, so now we know three locations, actually, where we can find these lobby chests right there. One over here on top of this, this thing. And then, of course, over there by the merchant guy, the uh, the villager trader guy, so... Anyways, oh yeah, and then after that mission, let's see if there's anything changed in this room. And then I guess I'll we'll have to actually go compare the footage between these episodes and stuff, but... Yeah, we already saw that creeper thing. We already saw that desert, that creeper head, I believe we saw that before, that ocean. I think we've seen that before, I think that might have been from the first level. That was from the creepy, or the creeper woods. Oh, what's that up there? I don't know what that is. That's kind of crazy, I don't think I've seen that before. What in the world? There's like a circle. Just randomly. It's gone. Ooh, that's spooky. <laughs> oh, is can I put some on that armor stand? I don't think I can. If I can, I don't know how to do it. Whoops. Anyways, yeah, I guess we'll leave right now. And, uh, oh yeah, what was it? Oh yeah, I wanted to test it out. That new bow. That new rapid crossbow. Let's actually go see how good that is against these over here. So, let's see. Whoa! 15, 15, 15, 15, 15. Hmm! Uses a lot of arrows, of course. And of course, remember, we have... Whoops, that's the wrong button. Uh, we have this armor over here that does extra arrow damage. So, 30% uh, ranged arrow damage and, of course, 10% more arrows per bundle. So, we can actually get more arrows every time we get an arrow bundle. And, of course, we have extra movement, movement speed. I don't know if that applies to us or just stuff around us. And, of course, the extra health. So, that compared... You know, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, or whatever that was. Compared to full pullback, 101. Full pullback, 101. I guess it depend on the situation, but I think this still does more damage overall. And of course, takes less arrows. I'd have to think about it, you guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, but look at the, look at the ammo of this one. 
compared to this one. The power is trash. The speed is way better. Of course, it makes sense because it's like a rapid thing, right? And of course, this regular bow. I guess it would get rid of that one. 34 to 86. Actually, that's better. <laughs> Look at that, we guys. We finally found another bow that's actually better than the than the longbow over here. I guess I was about to salvage that one by instinct. And it even has two enchantments I can give it to it. But I guess we'll keep it, you guys. So let's see how this one compares. Full pullback. 112. And just a regular one. 45 damage. Nice. Or actually, it should do 34. But I think we do extra damage because of that extra 30% uh, range damage right there, you know. But I guess now we have a better uh, bow. And we also have this rapid crossbow. Let me know what you guys think about this rapid crossbow in the comments down below. I don't, I'm still conflicted. I guess if we have a lot of arrows, I'll switch on over to it. But I guess for right now, we could actually salvage this longbow. There you go. Get an enchantment. And apply it to this. So that would be growing. That does extra damage the further away something is. 25% max damage. 50% bonus damage. Because uh, if, a, if a thing is enchanted or enchanted from the enchanting enchantment, which is crazy to say. 30% <laughs> chance to summon a poison cloud that deals damage to enemies in a nearby area. And of course, wild rage, which I liked. I might even apply that one immediately. I think oh, we had a previous bow that did wild rage. And of course, we had a previous bow. That did the, uh, the, the boom boom that this one does. Yeah, the, the fuse shot. <laughs> the punch, though, I think makes more sense for this one. But the fuse shot, because this shoots so rapidly, the fuse shot is more likely to happen. Or at least I guess it's the same likeliness, but like it's, you can get it a lot faster. Every fifth shot, every fourth shot, etc. This shoots like three or four shots per second or something crazy. I don't know, I, I have to definitely think about that, but maybe, maybe we'll figure it out by next episode. Hopefully next episode we get a better heckin' hatchet, because this thing is like crazy good. I really want to find something that's even better. <laughs> but until then, I guess, well, yeah, let's go see what level we have real quick uh, for next. Oh yeah, I said I want to do... I don't know if there actually is a secret level in Soggy, Soggy Swan. It looks like they could fit something like right here, you know, but who knows. I guess we'll do Redstone Mine next. Or maybe we'll do Pumpkin Pasture, just because it doesn't have a subsequent level. And maybe we'll end up doing it on heckin' power level, or default 6. Recommended power level 27, we have 22. 1.3 times difficulty. If things get really hard, I guess we'll switch on over to our, uh... Oh, what happened right there? Whoops. I hit some button. Uh... I have no idea what I did right there. Oh, I'm, uh... It's like going over each thing right there. It's just like cycling through them. Yeah, look at that. That's kind of interesting. I'm hitting tab and it's like cycling through everything, like, in windows. Which is crazy. But either way, yeah. Uh, oh, whoops, that was the wrong thing. Again, this one. <laughs> I do have the other armor over here I can switch over to if we're actually in a conundrum. If we're getting, like, a lot of damage, we can put this on. You know, we'll have a little bit less health. About, like, what, like, 20 less health-ish, 19 less health. But, of course, we'll have 35% damage reduction. We'll get more souls. We'll, we'll have some life steal. So this thing still has a use. This hunter's armor, I don't think, really has a use. Uh, has a little bit better health, like, overall, but, like, the... It doesn't have the extra movement speed. It has the same plus 10 arrows, plus 30% range damage. I guess I'll salvage it, you know? So there you go. 22 emeralds right there. So yeah, I definitely want to keep that in my inventory. But yeah, next episode, we're definitely going to go to Pumpkin Pastures. We're going to do Default Heckin' 6, just because why not? And if we do that, that means we're going to get the best loot in the game. So, or at least in this version of the game. Because remember, we could do, like, uh, Adventure Mode. We could do Apocalypse Mode. So that's going to be interesting. Harder to defeat and hit hard. New enemy enchantments, rewards are better. New, you, you know what? Let me know in the comments down below if you guys are watching to the heckin' end of this hour, 50 minute long episode or whatever this is by now. <laughs> Would you guys want me to do a second series of Minecraft Dungeons where we play on either Adventure or Apocalypse mode, where it's going to be a lot harder, of course, from what we're doing right now, which if you guys ask me, I, I'll definitely say we could use a little bit more challenge, even though we're, we're doing things a little bit more challenging than it's what it's, re what it's recommending, and we're going to be doing that next time when we do Pumpkin Pastures at the highest difficulty. I definitely feel like a little bit more challenging will make things a lot more interesting, but of course, that would be for a separate series after we've defeated the Arch Illager in this series. But for right- oh wait, what in the world? Okay, so I can't- I have to do- I have to, I have to beat the game on default to unlock this one, Adventure. Then I have to uh, defeat the heck an Arch Illager again to unlock Apocalypse, so we could potentially have three- Minecraft Dungeon series, you guys. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments down below. Would you guys want to see future Minecraft Dungeons seasons, I guess you could call them, where we do the higher difficulty versions of that? That could be interesting. But let's not get too ahead of ourselves. We're going to be doing Pumpkin Pastures Default 6 difficulty next episode. And uh, until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That'll put my latest videos 
on our YouTube homepage as soon as they come out so you don't miss an episode. Because next time we come back, we're going to be doing that Pumpkin Pastures map at the highest difficulty for the very first time in the series thus far. Let's see exactly how hard that is with our amazing armor, our amazing weapons, and even a uh, better wolf companion because we got the, uh, what is it right there? The Tasty Bone level, power level 26 that does 57 damage instead of like 38, so that's going to be really cool. But that's going to be for next time, but until then, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Minecraft Dungeons. Oh, bye there. Bye.